in the White House with Tweedle D, Tweedle Dom, and you do have as well Dopey. So there you go. Our vice president being Dopey. We got commander. Our commander in chief is is Goofy. So what do you get? Gets real D, real dumb. So you know that's what that's what we have right now in the set in the house. Real D and real dumb. We have Goofy and we got Dopey. So there you go. I mean, uh, what? I mean, I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make it simple enough to people to understand what is happening. Why do we have so much government corruption grow up right now? Why is why is government growing so big and our the private sector demeaning is getting smaller and smaller now? It's crumbling down. You see, our freedom is getting smaller and smaller. Have you seen? Have you seen your um uh? Uh, a stick of gum lately. A stick of gum being f f f five strips is now four strips again for 35 cents now. 35 cents. You're still getting four, five strips, you're getting four strips now. So it gives you an idea what's happening to the, uh, the, uh, what's happening to, um, uh, not just food, but our quality, quantity, and, uh, you know, and, and having, uh, having our dollar being diminished. And having our product being crippled down, and that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Go ahead, go ahead, Lily. Well, government regulation is a bad for business. It's bad for your freedom. I tell you a story. My dad quit his castle before he quit his job by his company's boss because mm. his wife was working as a blue collar worker for his government's enterprise. They wanted him to go to another city to work where my mother was very unhealthy, very sick, staying home, and no... See, when Chinese government wants to go to another city to work, they do not relocate your family. Mm. So you have to be pushed away to go or lose your job. So he was pushed to quit his job, just retire earlier, and he wanted to start his tricycle business where you carry people from mm. one spot to another spot because the people need the transportation. They do not have taxis. They were cost too costly. And my dad wanted to start a business that the Chinese local government wants him to pay. When you're worse of a neighbor, that's lots of money for a license. Mm -hmm. My dad could not afford that. That's, that's why he wanted to start his business. There's no savings. So we're getting by every month, paycheck mm -hmm. to paycheck. So he had to become an illegal worker by working at night, carry people. Mm -hmm. That criminal coming, rob him one night, broke his nose. He could not call cops. He had to go run to hospital, fake his nose with lots of money. Could not call cops. His cops would turn him over to government. Oh, you are working illegally. No license. That's how bad when the government has a heavy range of regulation, you basically lose your right to choose your likelihood, your, your, your likelihood, how you make money to feed your families. And this country is getting worse and worse because of, so the government losing common sense. They want you to have a license for lemon, a lemonade stand. They want mm -hmm. you to have license to cut hair, braid people here in the basement. They want you to have license for everything. They just want the cut of your neighbor. From mm -hmm. every per, you know, perspective, or, you know, of your life, it is totally wrong. It's tyranny, and I'm I'm a hundred percent opposed to that because, like, why should I do that? You know, don't you mm -hmm. think that we're overtaxed already, and then you want a license to fee? They're getting more and more outrageous. Somebody wants to become a doctor. Somebody wants to become just a chiropractor. Everything is licensed. You know, mm -hmm. there's so many codes of profession to be licensed regularly that you cannot even count them. And, and the, the with Obama here, they're pushing more and more doctors not to even join the profession. So I think that's why I want to keep government out of our business. Because I'm a small business entrepreneur. I work at home. And just all the paperwork, just by being me, self-employed, and also myself a job, there's just tons of paperwork to do, and, and tons of taxes to, to pay, and it's still not enough. If you right. add all your taxes together, not just local, uh, not just uh, like a, a U.S. Uh, income and state income, if you add your phone bill, your gas bill, your cigarette tax, your all kind of tax together, and they never go away once they put on your head. They right. never go away. They only add more and more. It, it, it pays so, you, you know, people are already are losing half year of the labor to pay all taxes. What kind of free society is that when you overtax people and they have no control of the fruit of the labor? It, it's just morally wrong. And, I, and the income tax is probably, you know, it's just probably in the U.S. and the corporate tax is all very, very high. And wonder why you don't blame our corporation move jobs overseas. You don't blame them not to uh, repatriate the cash to this country to invest. Because the laws are so stupid, and those other 
other two parties, no leadership in either party. You know, they, Obama, Biden, but not doing much. They feel like their name does now for the next two years. And then where is the Republican leadership when supposed to fight? Like the John Beamer, McConnell, all those people. Where is their leadership to lead us? Right. I think those politicians should just be out because they've been there for too long. They don't in touch with people. They don't in touch with country. They are taking care of their voters, their supporters, their cronies, and they're making um, who knows what with private corporations, Wall Street, and all that. It, it just, it's mad. The country is yeah. mad. You know, I hope someday, I wish I could go to Washington and straight something out, just to, like in totally different kind of politicians. A Chinese immigrant you know, politicians who would not care about the politi politics job and right. to get this done. Right. Good point. And